Hammer's on. Hey, it's Rob. Welcome back to the Garage. All right, we got Girl Scout cookies. These are good. What are these? It's Girl Scout s'mores. They're pretty good. All right, we got a box. All right, where are you going with that knife? I need that. Stop straightening. Nobody cares that you leave stuff all over the place. Very messy around the house. All right. Messy around the house. So. It's just one of those days. I have Girl Scout Shmoy stuff in my mouth. But listen. For a long time, I've been wanting to play the banjo. You notice that? Yes. Okay. Long now, time. Although I've been wanting to play the banjo, I really didn't know why. It could be that I like the South. It could be that on June 26, 2022, we will be moving to Virginia. We hope. We hope. We hope. What do you mean we hope? We hope. We will be moving to Virginia. We're leaving this communist New York State. All right? <laughs> Commies in New York State. Commies. Cuomo is a crook and a commie. Anyway, I always wanted to play the banjo. I couldn't figure out why until about an hour ago. We were doing a Meals on Wheels thing at our friend's house. And a story came up about a video that I had in my phone buried from years ago. I mean years ago, like, what was it, 14 or 15 we figured out? So I'm looking for this video and I couldn't find it. It wasn't no longer in my phone. And I found a picture of one of my oldest cousins, my oldest first cousins. Okay. And in that picture, it was him holding a banjo. And then, like, it all came back to me. Steven, you didn't even hear this story yet. Nope. Steven's behind the camera today. That's why it's shaky. So, anyway, my cousin, Joseph Coniglio, all right, used to play the banjo. And I come across a picture of him. It's probably about... You gotta look, you gotta look here. It's probably about... Am I, am I looking the wrong spot? You're looking I'm at looking me. At <laughs> Can I get a tripod? It's... It, the Listen, no, the tripod's downstairs with a closet. We're building the closet. Shh. Anyway, I got a picture from 2011 of Joseph Coniglio, and he's my, one of my cousins, he's one of my senior first cousins, I'm sort of a generation behind, a lot of my first cousins are in their uh, 60s and 70s, um, some of them in their 40s and 50s, no, I don't think there's any in their 40s, I think I'm the only one in the 40s. Are you a mistake? Uh, yes, I was a mistake, <laughs> jackass. So anyway... <laughs> Yes, I was a mistake. I was a Woodstock baby. My brother, my <laughs> only brother, he went to Woodstock, and my parents were home alone for the first time in 20 years, and yeah, here I am. So anyway, I always wanted to play the banjo. It turns out that Joseph Coniglio played the banjo, and now I sort of remember him playing the banjo. I don't actually remember him playing the banjo, but I remember that he did play the banjo. So maybe it's a family thing. Maybe it was something that was ingrained in my brain when I was a, a young boy, and that's why I wanted to play the banjo. So what did we do? We went on, ban I, re I said banjo reviews, well, beginner banjo reviews, and it takes me to this website, and it's got a list of reviews for banjos, and it comes up with this, this banjo that they actually said in the ad, and I keep looking up at you, Stephen, but they said in the ad, look at our top five banjo reviews. And... Number one is going to surprise you. And number one did surprise us because it was a cheap banjo. It was $154. Amazon Prime. And I got a banjo. That's really what it comes down to. Is I got a banjo. And it's really taped upside up. Upside down? I don't know down? if it's upside down. It's really taped up well in the box. Well, it's a, you, know, you know what it is? It's a banjo in a box. In the box. So you got to sort of get it out of the first box. Let's just cut here. We got the first box. So it's actually, it was taken up pretty good. Alright, so this is a, um, an RW Jameson. What does that mean? What does that mean? What? RW. I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing it's the guy's initials. Um, wow. It's actually packaged really well. Um, so I go online and I look at the reviews and the real banjo people are saying it's a cheap banjo. And yeah, $154, it is a cheap banjo. But I'm just getting started, and a lot of them said, don't get started on a cheap banjo because it's going to make it harder to play, 
harder to keep in tune, all that stuff. And I understand that that, that is true. But I didn't want to go spend, because they kind of jump from like the $200 banjo, and they jump up to like $500 banjos. So I figured I'd solve with this banjo while keeping my eyes on open. Huh? Let me get on this side of here. All right. While keeping my eyes open on Craigslist for a better banjo. But at least this will give me something to start with. Now, they had like 800 reviews on Amazon of this thing, and they were overwhelmingly positive. The negative reviews, and I did read almost all the negative reviews, and the negative reviews all talked about it being damaged out of the box. So, that is my one fear is that it's going to be damaged out of the box. But it looks like it's been packaged up pretty well. We got a warning on it. I can't read upside down. This bag is not a toy. It's like a choking hazard warning. All right, so let's just, uh, what do we got here? Oh, we got an Allen key or a hex key, depending on where you're from in the country. And we got a little, um, sort of like a socket tool, probably for adjusting the thing. All right, so we got a rubber band around the neck. And no, you, did, I am, you did play the guitar at a time. No, I had a guitar, and I wanted to learn how to play the guitar, but we really never, never took it seriously um, to learn. All right, so we got that out of the way. All right, so here's the banjo. Hold it up. Now. Doesn't look damaged. Right, it does not look damaged, and we're going to have to take a, a, a good look at it here. So what does all this mean? Sparks. What does this all this mean? Huh? What does all this mean? That's the, the five strings. That's where they hook in. Okay, so here's the banjo. Let's give it a good look, make sure it's not cracked or anything, because that's one of the one of the issues that people said they had with it was that it was cracked. I'm not seeing Looks good. I'm not seeing What's anything. This? That would, that's just some okay. packing material stuff. I'm not seeing any obvious damage. Right? It does have a geared fifth string, which is um, something that they said to make sure that whatever banjo you bought had one. Um, it's got some of this stuff to protect the Chrome. I'm sure the cheap Chinese chrome. Don't call me a racist. It's made in China. Yeah, this is a made in China banjo, which is sort of like sacrilegious, but all right. And the oh, Rembo, Rembo, that's good brand. Yeah, but that's just the head. Yeah. Now it's got the um, the Huzmawati, the bridge installed, and usually they ship these without the bridge installed. I guess they maybe changed how they package it, but usually they got the bridge laying flat, so it doesn't create any any problem, but we're going to reinstall that bridge, um, and we're going to, we're going to see here. So, I'm not even a musician, I know that's out of tune. So, we're going to have to tune it up, but here's the banjo, and you know what? It doesn't really seem as horrible as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot, a lot worse. So, what I did do is I went on YouTube, and I went to some initial band banjo setup um, sites and saw about how to initially set up the banjo, which was loosening the strings up a little bit, uh, positioning the bridge in the right spot, and making sure that your um, your skin here was was tight as it's supposed to be, and um, that the rod, the truss rod that goes through the I don't know what this is called, the pan or the head, or I don't remember, but that that is tight so that you don't get unwanted vibration. So I'm going to go through the banjo and, um, and I'm going to stop playing the banjo. I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to teach myself how to play the banjo from guys on YouTube. And when I find the guy that I like the best, I'm going to let you know who he is and I'm going to take you along with me and show you how I do on this banjo. So that's it. This is the R.W. Jameson and it also sold under the Davidson name. Um, banjo, it's on Amazon, $154, Amazon, Amazon Prime. And I think it's a, oh, here, right here, R.W., right there on the, uh, on the head there. 
R.W. Jameson, um, Amazon Special, this is the top rated Amazon sponsored five string banjo and um, it, it looks really nice um, and that's what some of the reviews said that the, the cheap banjos look really nice but they don't play so nice. So um, some of the things that they said was to, to give it a real good once over, make sure everything's tight the way it's supposed to be and set this bridge up the right way. A lot of people even said throw this bridge away and order a couple good bridges and I keep looking at you because I'm not used to having a cameraman, I'm used to having a tripod and I'm looking at you again. Up, down, up, down, okay. So that's it from Axel's Garage. Here's the R.W. Jameson Banjo from Amazon. I'll put a link in it to the, in the description below if you want to buy one and you could learn along with me. And this is for me, it's a family thing. I just figured out it's a family thing. Pretty cool. All right, if you like the episode, please give us a thumbs up. And if you like what we're doing here at Axel's Garage, meaning product reviews from instruments to dog watering bowls, to working on cars and trucks and jeeps and all kinds of shit like that, to working around the house, to building a closet in the basement. All right? If you like all that stuff, subscribe to our channel. And as always, thank me. Thanks, Stephen, for filming this behind the cameras there. Shaky Stephen. Stop it! Thanks for watching.